Hey guys, Amanda Nelson here, managing editor of Book Riot, and I am here with this month's five books to watch for. So this is five books to watch for in September. These are books that are coming out this month, obviously, that I think you should check out. So let's get started. First up is The Hired Girl by Laura Amy Schlitz. This comes out September 8th from Candlewick. I have read and loved this book. This is a young adult novel set in Edwardian America, so like the 19-teens. It follows a 14-year-old girl named Joan who's born on a farm. She loves reading, her father is horrible, her mother is dead, and her life is really hard on a, you know, Pennsylvania farm in the early 20th century. Uh, her father does something awful having to do with school and reading, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, and so she runs away and becomes a maid, a, like, like a live-in maid, to a really wealthy Jewish family in a big city. Joan herself is Catholic, and the book is a really interesting exploration of what happens when a Catholic, lower-class woman moves in with an upper-class Jewish family during this time period, and how she struggles with her faith and how to live respectfully with the Jewish family, uh, who she loves, and it, it addresses a lot of issues of anti-Semitism, and it has that great upstairs-downstairs twist, because it is about her life as a parlor maid in a wealthy house. So if you like Downton Abbey, this is a great YA novel for you. Uh, if you like reading novels where characters really explore their faith, start to think critically about their faith, and how, it, how to live in the world as a person of faith with other people who are not of your particular religion, this is a really, really great one to check out. And as you guys know, Fates and Furies by Lauren Groft comes out this month. This comes out September 15th from Riverhead. We've been talking about this book on Book Riot since they started sending out advanced review copies. Um, I've read it and loved it. Lauren Groff can write a sentence, man, just knock out sentences. She's so good. Uh, this is a story of marriage, a complicated marriage over several decades. The first half is told from the point of view of the husband, who's this really wealthy golden boy. You know, everything he touches turns to gold. Everything he says is taken seriously. Everybody loves him because he's wealthy and handsome and privileged and all that. And his wife, who is not wealthy, um, the second half of the novel is told from her point of view. And the assumptions that the man made about his wife and about their marriage are kind of unraveled. So it's all about secrets and relationships, um, the things that we assume, privilege, there's some great stuff about feminism in here, all wrapped up in like the structure of a Greek tragedy. It's just smart, you know, like smart. If you need, if you're like looking for the first really smart fall book to pick as you're coming out of your summer reading, this is definitely the one you should pick up. Okay, on September 1st comes Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This has gotten so much um, buzz and some great reviews. This is another YA novel about a young woman who is allergic to everything. She has a rare medical condition that means she can't leave her house because she's literally allergic to everything. And then she looks out her window one day and a boy dressed in all black named Ollie has moved in next door. And of course, that equals conflict. This is an interesting book. It's told with vignettes and diary entries and illustrations, and it's been compared to Eleanor and Park. So if you are really into the contemporary romance with some kind of social commentary twistiness, then check out Everything Everything by Nicolene, September 1st. This book is actually already out, but the paperback version of On Immunity by Eula Biss comes out September 15th from Grey Wolf. Uh, On Immunity is the book about vaccination that everyone should read, no matter how you feel about it. It's a short little book, but it wraps up so much of the history of vaccination, where the fear of vaccination rose uh, out of, and not just, you know, falsified medical studies, but like, what about being vaccinated makes our cultural memory kind of nervous, you know? She talks about vaccination and Dracula, vaccination, vaccination and vampirism in general, vaccination and the privileges wrapped up in being able to deny getting your children vaccinated. It's very kind, so if you're afraid, like you feel a certain way about vaccinations and you're afraid of reading something because you feel like you're gonna be lectured at, it's not like that. It's, um, it's very kind and understanding. Eula Biss herself is a mother who wrote this book when she was considering whether or not to vaccinate her own children. For the record, I am 100% pro-vaccination and have recommended this book to friends of mine who are, to who are not as um, staunchly for getting every single vaccine as I am, and they have enjoyed it. So, it's not just me. Everyone with children should read this book, I, I really do think that. And the, if you've been waiting for it to come out in paperback, it comes out in paperback on September 15th. And finally, a new Margaret Atwood. This comes out September 29th. It's called The Heart Goes Last. It sounds very handmade 
tale-ish orcs and creek kind of. Um, you know, Margaret Atwood has a very big range of fiction, and this one is more, sounds like it's more in the science fiction end. I haven't read it yet, but I'm very excited about it. Uh, it follows a married couple in a world where society and civilization and the economy is basically collapsed. They're homeless, living out of their car. They get a job in a corporate community. For one month, you get to live in the community working and with a house of your own, and then the price that you pay is that every alternating month you have to live in a prison. And in this setting, the woman who is part of the married couple falls in love with another man and things get complicated, and of course there's my Margaret Atwood's cutting social commentary happening um, at the same time. Opportunity to plug Book Riot Live. Margaret Atwood will be at Book Riot Live. If you haven't heard about it, this is our two-day reader event, November 7th and 8th, happening in New York City. We're going to have panels and games and cocktails in the rare book room of the Strand. Margaret Atwood will be there, Daniel Jose Older will be there, Lori Hulse Anderson will be there, and Sarah McLean, and, and Kate Jemison, all of these great authors. There's something for everyone at the function, no matter what kind of genre you read, there will be stuff for you. So, book great love, plug, over. And that's it! Those are five books to watch for the month of September. Tons more stuff coming out this month. Salman Rushdie has a new book coming out this month. Um, Chuck Wendig has a new book coming out this month called Zeros. So much good stuff. Fall is when publishing really starts to heat up. So if there's another book coming out in September that you're looking forward to that you would like other people to know about, leave it in the comments below. Oh, The Bollywood Bride, we're looking forward to that one as well. And I will talk to you guys later.